One, two, three. What's going on, Kings and Queens? Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. One of my recent videos, my most recent video, actually, matter of fact, Nabil Chowdhury said, Can you put videos on how to survive high school? Because I'd find it helpful. Keep up the good work, though. Peace. So, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do a whole series on this shit. And my first thought was, fuck no. I'm not going to talk about high school or school in general because it's summer. This shit's about to get over. Bad timing, you know, and stuff. I should wait. But then I thought, you know what? No, I have a good perspective on this because I just graduated high school. Yep, thank you. Congratulations. I know you were thinking it. I have a perspective because I'm done with high school and I have like... I don't know, thoughts on it, right? And not necessarily regrets, but the first fucking issue, man, with your question is you're trying to survive high school? Nah, you want to thrive, okay? You want to fucking take advantage of the situation you're in. Because one thing that I didn't really, I don't know, it was just a thought that I didn't even think about until kind of later in my senior year. I was like, holy fuck. This is such a social, like, it's just so many fucking kids the same age in a place. It's a really, really social environment. And I was like, damn. And I realized, you know what? This is probably going to be one of the most social environments you're in, like, in your whole entire life. High school. And you really got to fucking take advantage of it. And, you know, it's hard and it's kind of weird because... A lot of, I just noticed around my school, and just in general, a lot of kids our age are just fucking quiet, and, you know, they don't, they're not social yet, it usually takes, honestly, what I've noticed is it takes, uh, you know, once they get to like 21, 25 is when people get really social, when they start drinking, so like, you really, really are in such a precious situation, especially, man, females, okay, you know how many fucking virgins are walking around your school, not that like, Ah, you know, you girls are just for sex and shit, but when you get older and you start really wanting sex, because now, you know, we're all just busting nuts and getting, you know, whatever. I'm not, you know, I was jacking off a lot. And, man, you can, you can get laid in high school. It's not, you know, girls are fucking now, okay? And, you know, if you're older and you want to try to get laid, damn, this bitch is already, what, five dicks in her? Ah, man, you could be the first. And if you know what you're doing, you know, in bed, it's not hard. Just fucking Google that shit or something. Watch some porn. The girl will think you're a fucking rock star. She has nothing to compare that to, you know, prior. But if you're looking to get some pussy later on and she's like, oh, well, yeah, my third boyfriend was a lot better than you. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm just throwing it out there. Not trying to promote young, teenage, dirty, unprotected sex. But it's like a good time to do it. Um, but yeah, take advantage of the social situation to thrive in high school and survive. I really like partying. Get involved with people. Don't be such a... I don't know. You just really take advantage of that. Okay, that's the first point I wanted to get off. And it's taken me three and a half minutes. But uh, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is grades. Because, you know, obviously you want to survive high school. Grades is a big fucking part of it. Do what you can handle, okay? I don't know how every school works, but mine, you were pretty fucking, uh, you're able to really pick your classes to a certain extent and, like, make some fucking fun ones, man. Like, if you're gonna have to be in this place, don't just fucking let them pick your schedule. Like, I would take some video classes and some fucking just computer shit. You know, make your schedule something you can handle so you're not sitting there stressed the fuck out about grades and shit. Like, do something. You know yourself, and you know... You know what you can handle, so be careful when you're choosing what you're fucking doing. And as far as, like, homework and shit, just do it when you get home, the second you get home. Unless you're good at getting that shit done later, but for me, if I didn't do it right away, I would just, like, do whatever the fuck I wanted, and then it'd be too late, and then I would not do my homework. Then I would be cheating. I was pretty sure I spent my whole junior year just copying shit. Um, yeah. And grades, honestly, think of it like a game. It's all about points. You want to get the fucking points. So, you know, it's pretty easy if you stop looking at it like, ooh, like actually trying to learn that shit. 
I mean, yeah, if you if it's interesting to you, really try to learn it. But if it's just some bullshit that you are not interested in, play it like a fucking game. Get the points. You know, think about how they're going to grade it. And, uh, yeah, that's a very valuable tip to surviving high school. Because classes can stress out a lot of people. And failing classes and shit, it's just not something you want. So if that part's easy, you're doing that. You know, your grades are under control. You got that shit locked down. Um, and you know, you're thriving, you're fucking, you know, taking advantage of the social situation you're in, because, you know, you might regret it later. There's only one other thing I could think of. It's kind of like the first category, the whole social thing. But if you're trying to survive, and there's people, like, fucking with you, if you got a bully, you know, that shit happens. Didn't really happen to me in high school at all. But, you know, there's just fucking, there's fucking faggots, assholes everywhere. And, you know... You don't gotta know how to fight, but for real, do not take that shit, because I've seen a lot of kids be so upset, and you know, you hear about it all the time, how depressed kids will get when they're getting bullied. You can't take that shit. It doesn't matter if this dude can fuck you up. You can't take that shit. I'm gonna give you a simple tip, okay? I've been waiting. I've been fucking begging for the day I can use this. Like, you don't have to be super aggressive. You don't know how to, you don't gotta know how to fight, really, but if there's some dude fucking with you to a point where... It's really fucking your shit over and you're like trying to survive high school and you're not doing so well at it because of somebody. I'm going to tell you a simple tip. You want to put your hands on this guy's shoulders. But do it in like obviously you're not pissed off. You know, you're just like, hey, I'm trying to talk to you, right? Put your hands on his shoulders. Look him in the fucking eye. Bend your neck back, your forehead. Bust that shit on his fucking nose as hard as you can. Just headbutt him right in the fucking face. It won't hurt. It won't hurt you. But you might break this motherfucker's nose, and he will not fuck with you ever again. Just like, if you know how to fight, then fight this guy. But don't take shit from people. That's his... I don't know why you ever would. But yeah, man. Uh, I'm a pretty aggressive person, and I learned that through football, so I don't know. Because fighting, it's just like, you know, there's people who like study that shit and practice that shit all the time, but... You know, you could just put your hands on his shoulders and use the fact that your forehead is hard as fuck and that your neck is strong as fuck. And, you know, I don't know. It's a good tip, okay? Trust me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as far as high school goes, I'm graduated, and this is what I could think of. Like, surviving, it's pretty simple if you got the grades down, you don't let people fuck with you, and you have a good social group, like you're taking advantage of the fact that you got some nice pussy around you. Some fresh, clean, well, probably clean. There's not been no other dicks in there. You know, so that's what I recommend. That's, uh, just be yourself. Be yourself, and the way you be yourself is by checking your gut. You know, you can do a gut check, like, what seems right? Use that often and enjoy high school. That's my advice. Click the like button. I love you, kings and queens. I'll see you later. Goodbye!